That's right, Nazi. You're not pulling any punches with your opening preparation. You tried d4, c5 against Alice Lee, a very enterprising approach. Now you started off with the touch. How did you come up with this idea? Were you trying to put as much pressure with the black pieces early on? Uh, yes, and actually I got lucky again with the preparation. I predicted she was going to play knight f3, even though she plays e4, d4, c4, knight f3, like all of them. Mm -hmm. So instead of preparing for everything, I only prepared against knight f3, and then she nah. played it, so it worked out. Uh, I think I got a decent position. I'm not sure if I played it all correctly, but even though... Like, I guess the prep, I'm not used to playing this, mm -hmm. so I definitely wasn't sure that what I was doing was all correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like it was pretty correct, right? I mean, you both were playing good moves at this point. Just mm -hmm. her expanding on the queen side, you trying to get an attack going on the king side. Was that the plan, or were you trying to strike in the center? I was hoping for eventually playing g5 and f4 or something like that. Yep. But it got pretty complicated on the queen side. She gave me some tactical chances with mm -hmm. that b5 move that I played. Yes, that was a very nice move. And she did have this idea queen of five. sacrificing the queen. Did you see it? I saw it and I was afraid of it because she only has a rook and a pawn or two for it. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't evaluate this position at all. And I think if this was second game where she needed a win, she would have definitely would have gone for it. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And after I she played this move knight to b2, it just felt like you were getting too much play on this, on the yes, queen side. Yes, after this I'm much better. It felt pretty easy. And it was this big moment after d takes c5. <laughs> nicely spotted this queen takes d2. Were you anticipating this when you played the move rook to a3? Uh, no, How did you so feel her presence at that at I that spent point? a lot of time before I played rook a3 because when I first calculated it, after d takes c, I didn't see queen d2. Mm -hmm. So I was going to play something else and then I double checked one back to rook a3 and I immediately spotted queen d2. Mm. And then I thought she, there's no way she's gonna take on c5, so I was expecting queen c2. And here I can just take queen takes d4 and I don't know what she's gonna do with the knight on b2, probably go back to a4 and I'm just much better. I yeah. just have to be careful about the c6 pawn, but... For the moment, that, at least, that promotion yeah. square is pretty much guarded yes. uh, very nicely by the knight on e7 and the bishop on e6. That was game one, and after that, in game two, it felt like you were able to neutralize any sort of counterplay from her side. Uh, it felt very smooth. How would you assess yeah, it? Yeah, I was actually surprised by her opening choice. I thought she was going to play something more aggressive since mm -hmm. she needed a win. Um, I guess that she may be prepared uh, against the game I played against Anna, mm -hmm. where I played six move queen c2. Mm -hmm. So this time I changed it up and played knight c3. And I think mm -hmm. I was never worse. And uh, at the very end, I think she just blundered the queen or she would have taken the draw, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nazi, congratulations. You're going to be waiting for either Irina or uh, Alice Lee. Actually, let's go to that end game. Yes, or maybe we can pull it on your sure. uh, board and ask for Nazi's opinion on it. The last few moves were actually here. Rook c7 by Irina. So she wanted to come rook check and invade either with a rook or a king. So after rook c7, a5, b a5, rook a4, we're up to date with the players. How do you feel uh, Black's chances to get the victory in this one? Are? So Irina's the only one pressing, right? Yes. And right. she has a huge time advantage. Yes. I would say she has a chance And to how win. would you go about it? Rook to d7 or? Maybe rook to d7, try to yeah. go rook d3. Because rook d3, if I can get my king on g4, then that's much better. Mm. Right. So you want to put mm -hmm. the king all the way to h3, yes, sir. Is, uh, yeah, sir? Yeah, so that you could get four. something like this. This is getting Rook takes a7, dicey. maybe. King f1. King takes a4, maybe. This does look good for black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it looks like black, if she manages to take that pawn on e5, this is not looking promising. Plus, with only one minute on the clock for white, yeah. definitely easy to make a mistake. Absolutely. Well, still, this one is still ongoing. Uh, Alice is still fighting for a draw. Nazi, congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Our congratulations as well. Uh, very, very nicely played. Uh,